proper cleanup of spilled chemicals um, depends on the amount. Uh, a lot of the rigs, people will go out and buy uh, spill kits uh, from Grangers or anybody that uh, deals with uh, EPA or OSHA. Uh, the spill kit itself has uh, spill containers, it's got rubber gloves, uh, face mask, uh, absorbent material in it, uh, pads, uh, socks. Um, and what you do is you use those to absorb the chemical. And it's, they also have bags inside where you can dispose of it in the bag itself so it's contained. Uh, a lot of companies out there will sell you the, uh, the referred to as, I believe they're called pig kits. Basically, it's a spill containment kit. Um, and what that is, it's a ring that sits around the barrel in case you do have a leak. It contains it in that versus leaking out into the ground or uh, area around the barrel spill. Uh, one of the things is you need to have your PPE on, rubber gloves, uh, and treat it just like you were if you're running chemicals inside the truck. Uh, use all the safety equipment that you have. Um, what I would do is if something did happen, uh, a lot of people will use it's uh, vermiculite. Uh, it comes in the spill kit, which is an absorbent material which they put down. It absorbs it and then once you get absorbed, you sweep it up with a dustpan in a little dust broom and put it in a bag for disposal. The uh, spill kit itself uh, is fairly cheap. They run anywhere from uh, $50 to $150. Um, and it saves you a hassle. Whether it's A or B side chemical, you'll still treat it the same. Uh, the SDS sheet that uh, you should have on the truck also discusses what hazards are involved uh, so you know you also have guidelines by that what you need to use and how you need to clean it up. Mm -hmm.